steady as she comes, Farrier. I don't want to be late. <laughs> oh, you settle down. What's got you in such a hurry? Our new neighbor's moving in today, remember? Oh, that's right. What did you say her name was, Warren? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I just hope Mrs. Jurov isn't causing her too much trouble. She's always bad news. Come on, you guys! I thought we were moving her in, Mrs. Jurov. Of course we are. I am removing the open house decor. Some of these items have been in my family for generations. Old and crumbling, just like her. Shh! Anyway, are you going to help me move Mrs. Vanier in or not? Oh, oh, uh, of course! Uh, here, let me help you with that. Ooh, Warren, what's that? Be very careful with that. It is very... Whoa! Special! Uh, Mrs. Giraffe, I'm so sorry! That painting was priceless. Passed down amongst the women of my family. An ancient heirloom. And now, I cannot even use it for my open houses. I want a replacement for in. You had better to find me one before the end of the day. Or you can find somewhere else to live. Oh dear. I don't have the money for a new painting like that. Or a new house. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This isn't good. What do we do? Hmm. Let me think. Oh! I know! Let's go visit Mrs. Liu. She's bound to have some old knickknacks lying around. Hey, you two. How are you doing? Mrs. Liu, we need your help. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Our dear Teddy here made Mr. Carlson drop one of Mrs. Jirov's paintings. And now she's threatening to kick him out if we don't get a replacement. Do you have anything we could use? Hmm, let me check. I've known Mrs. Jirov a long time, so I'm sure she'll love this painting. Perfect. But I'm afraid I can't give it to you for free. I have a business to run, you know. Do you know if Mr. Carlson has enough money? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, please, Mrs. Liu. There has to be something we can do to get that painting. Tell you what, we'll make a trade. If you two can get me a month's worth of coal for my furnace and ovens, I'll give you the painting. How's that sound? It's a deal. Wait, what? Excellent. Now, please excuse me. I've got customers waiting. Leslie, where are we going to get all that coal? I know just the person. Absolutely not. Come now, why not? I need this coal to run. I can't go anywhere if I have no coal in my tender. What about your other steam engine friends? They're all away with big trains across the country. Why do you two need so much coal anyways? Oh, Farrier, Mr. Carlson's in trouble. Mrs. Giraffe's threatening to kick him out. Mrs. Liu can help us, but only if we bring her coal. Isn't there anything you could do? Well, I can't give you my coal, but I know where we could get some. I can get you two there and back, but we have to be quick. I have a train due in a few hours. Oh, thank you, Farrier. Come on, Teddy. I've been passing by the coal plant for years, and I've never seen them use these cars. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, yeah, we're taking this coal off your hands for you. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, you're not. You're not authorized to move these cars. Oh, come on! You've never even used these. Rules are rules. If you want coal, you'll have to get it somewhere else. Now get out of here before I call the manager. 
Oh dear, that's already an hour gone and we still don't have the coal. We'll just have to look extra hard then. Come on, Farrier. I know we'll find something. Oh dear, we're almost out of time. What do we do? Wait, what's that? Oh, Leslie, they're perfect! Let's go take them while nobody's looking. No, Teddy, we don't want to get into any more trouble. Let's stop at this water mill and ask if anyone owns the cars. Ugh, oh, fine. Excuse me, do you run this water mill? Why, hello. Yes, I do. Name's Zarin. Excellent. Mr. Zarin, those coal cars up there, are they yours? I wouldn't know. They've been here since before I came. I do own the tracks up there, though. Would we be able to take those cars? We need the coal for a friend, you see. Oh, well. If it's for a friend, I don't see why not. Yes! But all the same, if you could do me a favor first. That would be wonderful. What kind of favor? Sales for my shop are drying up, and I need to find a way to drum up some more business. I was thinking of getting live entertainment, and what better way to please a crowd than with a monkey? A monkey? That's right. If you all can get me a monkey, I'd be happy to let you take those cars. Thank you so much. We'll see what we can do. Where are we supposed to get a monkey? The circus, of course. Oh, the zookeeper will never agree to that. Never you mind about that. I've got an idea. That's all well and good, but we have to hurry. My train's due in an hour. What are you going to do? I'm sure the circus keeper won't notice if he's down one monkey. We can't just steal his animals. Leslie, we're out of time. Just watch my back. That darn cat's always causing trouble. Hop on! Well, we found our guy. Now what? Got an idea. Hey Teddy, how do you feel about getting wet? I don't care! Just get me off this crazy beast! Alright, Carrier, when I say pull the chain. Hey you! Leatherface! Now! Oh, thank goodness you found him! I don't know what I'd do without Orville. Is there any way I can repay you? Actually, there is.
you are very lucky. <sighs> what would I do without you two? Lord only knows. Well, I say this calls for a celebration. What do you two think we should do? Well, Farrier's taking a train to the city in a few minutes. 